Uh, we split materials, we named them properly, everything seems to be good. What we're gonna do now is select all our meshes, save everything, we go to BMAX connector and we send it. But first, let's select also the collision. So send to max, we go here, we open it and get from Blender. Easy. One thing to remember, in Blender, we use different scale than 3ds Max using by default, so we can change it in Customize, Unit Setup, System Units, and we change from inches, I think inches are by default, to just meters. And since that we will have always perfect uh, scale. Okay, so let's start from from beginning. Let's apply material. We need to convert it to GTA. Everything is here. We just can embed it in that case. Embed and embed. Bumpiness will stay. I will use one as intensity. It should be enough. Uh, fall off. If you like it, we're gonna use just default settings here. Now I can copy this one and we can also use it on the table because it's the same material. Now let's go on the chair. Let's embed, embed, embed. There is one thing that we can change. And I think we should do it. Instead of embedding, because table and bench is using exactly the same texture, it's not good to embed the same texture twice, just pointless. So we can unselect this. Let's put hierarchy together. So we go to model, model, place it here on the zero. Let's start with table okay we can also add change to editable mesh and apply game mesh modifier this one this asset is kind of ready we will need also another two of them let's go to chair Edit Mesh, Game Mesh Modifier. Bench, same story. Edit Mesh, Game Mesh Modifier. We can put it here, and we can put it here. Loft style bench. Select name, put it here. About collision. Let's go here. We also can select. No, no, no. Go here. Are you sure? There is not like some errors. Okay, composite. 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 We need three of them. So one jump to the table one jump to the chair, one jump to the bench. Collision jump here, chair jump here, and table jump here. Now we need to just rename it, call, call, It's not like you have to put all those names, but it's always better to do it. Let me save 3ds Max before it explodes for no reason.
OK. Let's go here, create object, collision, and add modifier. What do we need? Add animal, cover, dynamic, vehicle, weapon. We're going to add small offset here, 0, 0 to 5. Done. Same here, 0, 0, 25. Map animal cover dynamic vehicle weapon. And last one here, 0, 0, 25. Animal cover dynamic map vehicle. Done. What we need to do is create wood material. So. We're going to just grab bench. We can go here, create new material. Go here, create new material. Wood, coal, metal, coal. Wood, solid small. Metal, solid small. Good enough. We go here, drag and drop, instance. Drag and drop, instance. Now we go here, we pick chair collision. It's just wood. Drag and drop, instance. Now we pick bench, same story. And I think they are already applied here, but just in case, instance, instance. Uh, double check, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, let's save it once again. I think we didn't miss anything. Yes, we did. One last thing. I need to fix placement. Because as you see, everything is off. So we need to put it on zero, zero, zero. Same story here. Zero, zero, zero. Same story here. Zero, 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 zero. Let's save. Let's export. Mm, loft style. Teams export. Go. Let's open Open IV. Windows. Let's go here, mods. I think I already prepare the DLC. This is exactly the same type of DLC that the the Curvinator have, right? I'm pretty sure you know the guy. Uh, here's link to his website, the first one. There is already stuff like this. The only thing that you need to do is just change the naming. So instead of template one, you just replace all the names for your DLC. I will probably cover this maybe on next one, but uh, at this moment, let's just keep it simple. Okay, because we used green veil text painting, I'm just going to add it here. So yeah, let's go to edit mode. Let's import our objects. Go here, desktop. Do, do, do. Kim's export. Hopefully no errors or other weird stuff. Okay, chair is looking decent. We have our collision. Table is not using textures. Bench is also not using textures. So we need to fix this and just put texture dictionary. Let's call this one Dennis 3D loft style. 
txd and let's place uh, bar tools at bar at view um, I will need to take a look give me one moment Loft, loft, loft style chart. This one, one, and this one. We can generate it automatically. We don't even have a lot of. Oh, yeah. As you see, specular looks like poop. Uh, and I will probably explain next time how to deal with this. At this point, it should be enough. Yes, 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 I will do it. I will do it as soon as I finish. Okay, so now we need to create our Y type for all of those assets. We're gonna use create white type thingy from Skellums. We go here, pick our first prop. We're gonna use chair because we have already embed uh, texture here. It will have embed collision. It's not gonna use external texture dictionary. So that's all. Plug and be 32, it's static this we don't really care so import we can use 100 texture dictionary hd doesn't matter custom map then is 3d pop workshop okay create View, file, save. Let's put it here. Let's go here, desktop, loft name assets, and drag and drop it here. Oopsie. Uh, import. Why oh, it's not importing? Okay, you don't want to cooperate? You don't. Copy this one and put it here. Add it here. Really sure if this name is that important. Archetype. Oh no, the formatting. No, 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 no. Let me use this one.
way better. Let's get rid of this, get rid of this. <laughs> I'm gonna export XML here. Now it's supposed to work. Let me open this once again. And we are here. Okay. So here, close this one. We're gonna swap model. Uh, we did what was first? Sure. So now let's do a bench. Calculate external dictionary. We're gonna use Dennis 3D Bob. Uh, wait, la style txd. Yes, this one. It's always better to make sure. Import can be 100, 5, 3, 8. I have, but it's for me, it's Pepega. It's not always doing what I want. And right now I have better option in Blender, but because it's not, let's say, public, I, I'm gonna use this one. So, ODR, open, uh, table, calculate, file import, 5, 100, create, view. Save. Okay, hopefully everything should work. What we're gonna do is drag and drop this. So it's updated. Let me take a look if we can apply textures. Yes, we can. Okay, so if everything is done properly, we have DLC set up. We have DLC enabled in our DLC list, what's already done. We should go to Codewalker. And right now Codewalker should see our new added props. Because we made them with green V paint, I'm just gonna add them to one of the interiors. It doesn't really matter which one. So let me take something that it's not touched by me, let's say. Mm. Can we add it here on the stage? Okay, let's enable MLO. Go here. Y map we got Y type. Go back to entity. And let me grab something. Can be, can be this one, for example. Yeah, let's copy and let's try this 3D loft style. Sure. Okay. Success. Table. And as you see, because we use origin point at the bottom, everything is just easier to move, align, and just work with it. 
And also we have a bench, right? Bench. Okay. Small thingy. What we need to do right now is let's save this one. Go here, desktop. Mm, let's, let's save this white type. And we also will need to generate a manifest. So game will recognize that we are using my PLC, let's say. My white type, more like this, because it's the exact name of white type. Let's save this one. Save. And let's go to, to 5M. Uh, let's go here. Trim. Okay, there's a bit mess here. Holding alley, okay. Let me grab one. Yeah, can be this. Doesn't matter that much. Other, let's create new folder. Will be then 3D pop workshop. Put it here. New stream. Oh, without, oh my god, 